Hey guys, it's me Rachel here from Crimson Willow. Um, I'm here with my question and answer video. Um, I announced on social media that I was going to be doing this. And so I gave you guys um, the ability to ask me some questions. And so I wrote them down and kind of compiled a list and my answers and stuff like that. So I figured I'd go ahead and get started and answer some of them. I hope to do more of these in the future because I'm sure I'm not going to touch on all of the questions that you may have. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first question is what tools are needed? And this is such um, a, a hard to answer question because number one, it depends on exactly what you're going to be making. Um, as far as if you're doing general leather work, belts and stuff like that, or if you're actually doing tack. Um, there's so many different ways to go, but I kind of compiled a list um, for the person who wants to make tack because that's what my channel is specifically geared towards. But um, I just and I I think that and I think that a good item for leather or excuse me people who want to start out in a tack making business to make is like say a nose band. So um, I've compiled a list together of items that you may need to start making those. Um, the first one is a good knife, and as I mentioned in my inlay video, I personally don't use a round knife, which I know a lot of makers do. Um, I use a box knife, and it's just something that I'm just comfortable with. A, and it's just a box knife that I purchased at Walmart, I think. I don't know, but I just always make sure that my blade is good and sharp. And um, I would have to say, whatever knife you decide to use, make sure that you are comfortable with it before you start working with leather so you know not to cut yourself or don't cut yourself. Um, and um, the second thing is measuring tools. Um, and I would say like a good ruler. Um, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what I meant by this. but. Like ruler, um, like I use, if you're going to be doing inlays, like um, some type of thing to mark out your inlay with um, and stuff like that. Um, the third thing is a proper surface. Um, if you're going to be doing bronc nose bands and you're wanting to put conchos on, you're obviously going to have to be punching holes. Well, the thing is, is you have to have the proper surface in order to do that because if you don't, you're going to dull out your um, your punches. So you want to be sure, no matter whether you're cutting, you need like a um, like a self-healing like rubber mat, or if you're punching holes, you're going to need like a poundo board, um, which you can get like from Tandy or any other leather place like that. Um, the fourth thing is as a notebook. Um, I know this sounds really weird, but honestly, for me. I am a visual person, and my thing is, is like I mentioned on my page, because now I'm going to just in stock only, I have an entire note, probably two, more than two notebooks full of ideas that I've just jotted down over the last year when I'm out and I'm like, oh, you know, that'd be such a good idea. I can vision it and stuff, and I'll draw it out, and then I will eventually make it, but that's how good ideas are started, and so um, I would say a notebook is a very good thing to have if you're trying to create a brand, trying to create a name for yourself. Um, so yeah, it's just any notebook <laughs> that you can draw on. You don't have to be a perfect artist. I mean, I'm not. I know that. Um, the f Let's see. The fifth thing is, is a good swivel knife. And this is, n I mean, if you're starting out making nose bands and you're just going to do like an overlay, just like a printed leather over the top, or if you're going to be painting, then you don't necessarily need this unless you're going to want to be painting your carvings and stuff like that. But a good swivel knife, if you're wanting to start carving, um, and I would suggest if you're wanting to actually tool, have tooling um, on your nose bands, I would suggest going to a class. Um, whether it be at a Tandy, they offer free classes, or if you find um, somebody... Um, that is well known in the leather industry. They're known to put on classes that charge a little bit of a fee, but those are extremely worth it to go to. Um, and then the other thing is, is a basic beveler. And this is gonna go with tooling. If you don't know what that is, um, I'm not um, the best tooler, but um, a beveler is what you use um, when you carve out with your swivel knife. The beveler is what basically makes your carving stand up or stand down. Um, it's what you go along with, you tap, after you cut with your swivel knife. Um, and so those are kind of the tools I would say that you need um, to get started, especially if you're making nose bands. Um, but there's probably some more that I'm forgetting, but if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Um, the second question is where to find leather. Um, I have my certain places I like to shop at. Um, 
But the first one is Tandy. Tandy is a corporate leather brand um, that has a lot of stores throughout the U.S. Um, so they're pretty much accessible to almost anyone. I know some people don't live near a store. Mine is only like not even five minutes away from my house. I actually used to work there. Um, Tandy, they are www.tandyleather.com. Um, they have a lot of supplies for um, new leather beginners, lots of tutorials, videos, information, stuff like that. Um, and then Springfield Leather, um, I am in Missouri, so Springfield Leather is actually only like the most three hours from my house. I've traveled down there before. Kevin and Rusty are wonderful guys. They know so much. They have a beautiful store and they actually carry so many leathers that you will not see anywhere else. They have so many odd lot leathers is what they're called. Beautiful, unique leathers. Um, very, very helpful. Um, I just love those people. Um, they do a great job and if you can, if you're ever able to go check out their store, I would say do it and they're www.springfieldleather.com. Um, so go check them out. And then another one which I don't necessarily use, I know a lot of people do, is Weaver Leather. Um, they put out a big catalog and I actually didn't bring it up. Um, but they have a lot of, they sell everything from sewing machines to tools. They have hand tools, master tools. They sell lots of different types of leather, so many different types of hardware. And they also branch out and do other things like nylon and stuff like that. Um, so they're a very good... Um, another good place to buy leather. So I would say Tandy, Springfield, and Weaver are the three main ones that I mostly know about. Um, there are some other uh, leather places um, like All American Leather Direct, ALD I think is what it's called. I haven't ever personally used them before. I hear they're good. Um, and then there's other little places that sell like like little like odd lot leathers like Peggy Sue also is on eBay and like she'll sell like um, just little scraps of leather that you can use. Um, so yeah, um, the next question is how to do basic stuff. And I'm actually going to be starting my next video will be a series on how to create a bronc nose band. It's going to be a series of probably two to three videos. Um, and I'm going to start filming it next week because as you know, Thanksgiving is this week and I have a lot of family things going on and I'm trying to create some items for um, kind of like a Cyber Monday sale. So that's going to be coming out. The next question is how to pick out a name. Um, and this is something that is, <laughs> it's something that you kind of have to do on your own. Um, I would say the main thing is be creative. Find, pick something that's going to stand out. Um, and use something meaningful. Meaningful. Ugh. Um, like for instance, my name, my business name is Crimson Willow. Well, my horse's name, as everyone knows, is Willow. So I know I wanted to incorporate her name, but I was like, Red Willow. Eh. So I thought of a name for the color that, uh, for a name of red that would sound like kind of catchy. So that's how I came up with Crimson. So Crimson Willow. And that's how that was born. Um, actually, before leather, I started out making picture conchos. And that's where actually a lot of makers get started, is, is making the conchos. Um, they're not as big now um, as they used to be, I feel like. But um, my name before that was actually RD Creations, and that's just R Rachel Dake Creations. So um, you can do your name, your pet's name, your horse's name. Um, just be creative in something that is meaningful to you and describing you. And it doesn't actually even have to describe you. I mean, so um, yeah, just be creative as you can. Um, the next question is how much money? And this is another one of those gray questions. I mean, uh, hard because it depends. I mean, it depends on what you want to get started. Like for me, for instance, I started making no, um, conchos. So I had some money going from that for my orders and stuff like that. So I took that initial money and invested it in started buying leather tools. And then I also invested just a little bit of my own money. But if you're wanting to get into like big tools and like sewing machines, like to be honest, I personally had to take out a loan to get my sewing machine. Um, and that was just my personal choice um, because I needed it then so I could expand. Um, but there's really not, um, there's not like a set amount that you need. Um, and also me, I just bought my tools as I went. I didn't just go to Tandy or some leather store and be like, okay, I'm going to buy all these tools, spend thousands of dollars, and then get started. I started buying over like the course of a year and then started actually selling things and getting into it. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. 
Um, the, another question was, is how much space do you need? Well, to be honest, I started out, um, of course, I had already had a place set up where I made my conchos in our spare bedroom. Um, and then I started just kind of doing my leather work in there. That may not be feasible to you. The only thing you may have is your kitchen table. And that is okay as long as you keep your items together and organized and easy and able to pick up. Um, and then when you're able to, get a good sturdy table um, because if you're going to be tooling, you're going to be needing your granite and stuff like that. Um, I suggest one that doesn't bounce, um, that, that's pretty solid. Because um, when you're stamping and stuff, I know you're going to be on the granite, but it's just good to have a good solid table. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have to move your tools around at the beginning, that is no big deal. Um, just um, eventually, if you're able to, you know, get the space. Like right now, I have our entire basement. Um, I started out in a spare bedroom. So, um, and at our old place, I didn't have that option. And now at our new place here, well, been here almost two years. Um, but I have the whole basement, um, which is pretty full. Um, and I just expanded over that. When I first started out, I didn't need a whole basement. Um, and so, yeah, so that is it. Those are the questions that I got. Um, if there's anything else that I can answer for you guys, let me know. And again, I'm going to be starting my series on how to make a nose band. I'm excited. Um, and I'm going to start that next week sometime. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Like I said, it's going to be like two to three videos. Um, and yeah, so I'm just so thankful for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my business. Um, I truly appreciate it. I hope these videos can help you out, help somebody out. Um, if you know a friend um, that's trying to get started in the leather making business, you know, um, let them know about my channel. Um, I Like again, I hope... I hope to be able to help somebody out. Um, that's why I'm doing this because I know that I didn't have the help out and I wish I did when I started. And I know a lot of people believe that you should, you know, find out on your own and I get that. But um, if I can help you out in a little way possible, I'd like to do that. And But I can't show you. I can't like sit down and, you know, like coach you through making it. You know, you can watch my video and take some techniques, but you know, you learning it yourself and being able to perfect that art is going to be on you and it's going to be your own time and I can't personally sit down and do that, you know, across the computer. So yeah, so thank you guys again so much for watching my videos. Um, let me know if you have any more suggestions for videos. I look forward to my series coming up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me Rachel. Sorry I'm in my kitchen. Um, I've been up, or this whole morning I spent entering in all of the names into a generator to help me pick and I legitly cannot feel my fingers. I did a lot of copying and pasting and but still um yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for entering. It was amazing the amount of times you guys entered. I mean my phone was blowing off the hook. It was awesome. Um, and second off, thank you guys so much for hitting 100 subscribers. We're now at 101. I just checked. That is amazing. Um, I haven't even hit that on my other channel, and I've been doing that for a couple months. Um, so this is really awesome, and it makes me so excited, and I am really excited to keep bringing you guys videos, and I've gotten a lot of feedback, and I know everybody likes it, and so I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much again. So, unfortunately, I can only pick one winner. I have one tax set. Um, if I could, I would give out a tax set to everyone that entered. I really wish I could. Um, but... As I said, there can only be one winner. So the winner of the tax set is, drum roll please, your YouTube name is 20 Barrel Racer 07. You are the winner, so go ahead and contact me by Facebook, uh, email. Um, I have the information listed below. But that is not it. Um, I, again, saw the effort of everyone that tried. Um, so. I just went ahead and picked five other names to receive $50 gift cards. Um, as you know, I'm not doing custom orders anymore, so this will be good to use on any in-stock item. Um, and I'll just uh, give you guys basically a coupon code to use. So, the winners, I picked five, just five random names. Um, the winners of $50 gift cards are Montana Webb. Um, I did this off of Facebook and YouTube. I kind of found out you guys' names through that. Um, anyway, um, Amber Evans, Emily Ennis, Bailey Knepper, 
I think K-N-E-P-P-E-R, and Brianna Smith. You guys all won $50 gift cards as well, so please um, uh, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, um, email, whatever you guys want, and thank you guys again so much. I had so much fun with this. I'm going to go rest my hands now before I go back to work because I cannot feel them, um, So, but it was awesome. It was great. And I uh, just thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I've received so much positive feedback for this. And I'm just so excited to keep bringing you guys videos. And so, yeah, so look forward to my next, my series I'm starting, which is how to create a bronc noseband. So look forward to that. And so I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.